What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to do the wheat scent roll. I think this is 8 <clears throat> and it's completely sealed. So I'm going to get my tripod and set the camera up and we will do this together live. And we'll see end up seeing what we have in this roll. Move the camera a little this way. Actually, move it like that. Okay. So on one end is a 1918, I think, and the other end is a 1940-something San Francisco. So I'm going to open this up. open all right there's only there's not as many uh there's only two steel scents it looks like in this roll okay first coin 1948 san francisco second coin 1940 san francisco third coin 1946 d fourth 1945 D, 5th, 1940 San Francisco, 6th, 1937 Philly, 7th, 1934 D, I believe I need that one for my book too, so that's a pretty good coin. Uh, next, 1939 Philly, next, 1949 San Francisco, Got the two, two steel cents here. We got a 1943 San Francisco and a 1943 out of Philly. 1942, 1955D that looks like it's been cleaned. We got a 1929 San Francisco, 49 San Francisco. 36, San Francisco, 56, Philly, 39, Philly, 45, D, 34, D, again, 44, D, 47, D, 1917, San Francisco, that's a pretty good coin there, guys. 1953, 1937, 1935 D, 1951 D, 1925 Philly, 1941 San Francisco, I think, that's 1919. San Francisco. That better not be a 1909. Um, I'm just... Just for giggles, I'm gonna check for the VDB. But it's not there, so... I doubted that it was a 1909S. Because that would have been a key date, nevertheless. 1935... I think that's an S. 1936, in pretty good shape. Set that one to the side. 1948, San Francisco. 53, D. Another 1919, Philly. 1955, Denver. 1945, in pretty good shape. 1947, Philly. 1946, Denver. 1947, 
Go to 1918, 1937, and a 1916 Philly. Well, we definitely got some really good coins. Um, we got some pretty low mintages here. Uh, which I've... Some of these I haven't really seen before. But, sadly, I think we have all of the teens that I picked out. Which is sad, but... Um, these are... I'm checking all the teens. So, I'm just gonna put teens right here. I'm gonna put AU... Con conditioned coins here. Um, we have those here. 39, 25, 29S. I'm going to put the 20s right here. Right in this little area. The, uh, Late 30s with mint marks and no mint marks. And we'll put here. So. And then. These are the coins of the roll. So. I'm going to have to check what I have here. Um, I know. I know I'm going to need one of these coins for my book. Um, I mean, I think this coin I've been needing for a little bit, so, yeah, I probably will need that one. So, I am now going to sort out the 1940s from the 1950s. Back in, back in 2019, a lot of these would go in my book, but I've since acquired more coins from my book. So, um, when I'm done with all these wheat penny rolls, I'm going to do a, a giant book filling video, plus a new coin book that I've gotten, which is, I've, I will actually, I've ordered... A new coin book that I've been needing for a denomination of coins. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but if you follow my Instagram, you probably do know what it is. So, I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a new deno it's a denomination of coins that I've been sorting through. In fact, I've done a video on it. That's another really good hint. Uh, yeah, I did a video on it recently, and I sorted through them, and now, since I've sorted through them, I'm going to make a book. I mean, I'm going to get a book. I've ordered one for pretty cheap, actually, so yeah, I got them for pretty cheap. So, hopefully that's good. Alright, so, um, I, now I have two rolls left, um, and I guess here's the wrap. So, we had, uh, very little coins in the 50s, actually. We had a lot of, in fact, very little coins in the 50s. We might have had more late 1930s than in the 50s, actually. And those are including S mint marks. And then here's the 40s. We got a lot in the 40s. A lot of S mint marks, actually. Um, and if I had gotten these rolls probably a few months ago, a lot of these 40s would have gone in my book. 
but I've since found them in other coins, like coin roll hunting, and even some of these wheat penny rolls, I found some for my book, so, you know, it's just some, one of those things, but those, these will go in my uh, wheat penny jars that are sitting right here, uh, my two cups full of 1940s and 1950s wheat pennies, so, yeah, um, so, but what we got over here is we have the teens on this first row here. We have the two, I guess, AU conditioned coins. This one is a 1936. We always seem to get at least one coin from the pre-1940 that's in pretty good shape. This one's not as in good shape as the 1937 San Francisco, but it is a 1936 um, and it's in pretty good shape. I, it might have been cleaned, although I seriously doubt it. It looks like it still has a little bit of the original luster on it. And then this 1945, which has decent luster. I might just throw it back with the 40s. But, you know, it has decent luster. So, I, hold, I held on to it in this pile. And then we have the 20s, which were, that I already had in my book. So, we got a 1929 San Francisco, which I already have in my book. By the back, I thought it would be a lot older. But it seems that the 1929s are a lot, um, wo really worn when you get them. And here's a 1925 Philly. Um, I already have this one in my book. Um, so, it won't be going in, but it is another really nice coin here, guys. And I have a roll going. I have a roll going of pre-1940 wheat pennies. So this is how many I have now. I'm trying to fill a whole roll up. 50 coins with all pre-1940. Um, the ones that don't go in my book at least. And I'm going to plan to sell it on eBay. And I have it right here in my little thing on my desk. And then we have the, um, I got a lot of these. <clears throat> Sorry about that. In fact, I get a lot of these in every roll that I search. At least with these ones. I, I with the other wheat penny rolls that I've searched for different lots, I don't usually get a lot of these. But for the past couple rolls, I've gotten a ton of them. And that will definitely help me filling up this roll over here. Um, not, not going to my book, but definitely helping me fill up that roll. Um, and then we got only two steel cents. But the thing good about the steel cents, um, it's kind of bad news and good news, is that we got a 19, our first 1943 San Francisco, although it has a big ding on the rim, so still, it's still a nice, nice addition to the wheat penny rolls. Um, so that's nice. And then the coins of the roll, I would say, are this 1917 San Francisco here. Which, surprisingly, I already have in my book. Um, I actually found that one coin roll hunting. Um, I can't remember if it was customer wrapped or bank wrapped. I think it was bank wrapped. Yeah, I I hunted. I literally only hunted like three dollars in bank wrapped rolls, and I found a 1917 San Francisco. It was much wor much more worn than this. And if I ever figure out how to replace coins in that book over there, I probably will replace it, and I'll probably be replacing a lot of those coins. But for now, I found it already, and it's a pretty nice coin still. Um, and then we also got a choice here, although I'm fairly certain which one I'm going to put in my book when I do it. So on the, on the le right here, actually, yeah, on the right we have this coin right here, which is a 1934D. That one I needed for my book. I've gotten quite a few 1934 Philadelphias, and I found a few 1934 Philadelphias in coin rolls. But I've never found a Denver. And here's one here. And then this one here is the same coin. A Denver also. 1934. And it's in much better shape. So this one will probably be the one that's going into my book. 
we didn't, we only got mate, probably one coin that goes in my book, but I've been looking for this coin for a while, so I'm, overall, I'm really happy that I got that in my book, and I'm pretty happy with this roll as well, so, um, yeah, these rolls were nice so far, um, my mom said that she paid, like, maybe, a, she couldn't remember exactly, but she said she paid around $15 for five rolls, and I was like, dang, that's a good deal, um, especially with the, that they're completely sealed, and they have a lot of pre-1940 wheat pennies with mint marks on the end, so I should ask her more information about it if she remembers. Um, mom, if you're watching, just comment down below and tell me if, well, I don't know if you should do that, maybe you can text me on my phone. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to go into that, but these rolls were really nice so far, and I found quite a few coins for my book, and at the end of the day, it will be time to get out this little guy right here. It's a, uh, little container that I put together that has all the wheat pennies that I've gotten from these five rolls, um, so... This isn't all of the wheat pennies that I've gotten from them, because I recently did this, but the ones that I've done so far, and I have a little section for coins that are going in my book, which I will put in there soon, but it's just sitting over there for now, and then I'll put them in my book at the end of the hunts. So, um, I guess that's it. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to give a like. Um, also... Uh, please like for my setup. Um, it's new. I moved this box that I made to go on this part of my desk, but I put that over there. Um, when I knew when I put it down that I wouldn't really have it forever, so I moved it, but, you know, that's how things go. So, I've updated this, uh, desk setup. Hopefully you like it. And I've had this desk since 2011, by the way, and it's held up pretty well. Um, so, it's held up better than my, uh, I don't know if you can see, but that drawer over there that has my pencil collection, it's already breaking down. Um, and I got that, like, what, 2017? So, this desk has held up much better. Um, so, I've had it since 2011, so that is held up really, really well. And when I put a whole bunch of stuff on it, it, it looks like I have way more space than I do, which is awesome. So, yeah, I fit all of this on one little teeny Ikea desk from 2011, and I've transferred it from that to a really nice desk that I like to use. Anyway, um, sorry about that little talk right there, but I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace.